National Convention. And here at ABC News, we're following the election cycle. Stay with us here, cycle, literally, our producer, Michael Codings, peddling between the conventions, between voters and needy voters along the way. He arrived just moments ago. Go figure. Here's a look at his journey. This year's conventions are go big or go home. Oh, we're going to win. We're going to win so big. Thank you very much. I may become the first woman president. But one brave soul is giving new meaning to political spin. I'm Michael, and this is the election cycle. Our very own digital correspondent, Michael Koenigs. You're a cyclist? I am the election cyclist. Viking from the Republican convention in Cleveland. I want to talk to Americans who weren't in this room. To the Democrat convention in Philly. Michael traveling 500 miles in five days. Who are you guys voting for? Trump. He's a little Bernie Sanders. Even hitching a ride with these nuns on a convention-bound bus. The least we could do was to give you a lift. Just a little bit. A little Catholic charity. <laughs> and overnight, the election cyclist finally coasting into Philly, ready to enter the DNC ring. along the way, in between these two arenas, the people who can't be here, because ultimately they decide this election, and they're just incredibly passionate about what goes on, and, and so I wanted to hear them along the way. So was it as much fun as you hoped it would be, and what did you learn? It was much more fun. That, uh, I learned one day we stopped in Pittsburgh for a Pirates game, and met voters from the highest seats to the lowest and just hearing their thoughts and their passion for this election cycle it is at a high level yeah everybody is paying attention yeah really how, how was that wrestling match you show up <laughs> dressed like that and what happened i know i think they saw me in this tight outfit so they came into the ring and uh these folks, uh, local community, semi-pro wrestlers, had me jump on board, <laughs> and uh, the mayor, an 82-year-old woman, also there, yeah, making fights. <laughs> well, you're smiling a lot right now. Any trouble along the way? Well, there are a lot of potholes out there, and so we got to take care of some of those infrastructure questions. I think that uh, the heat wave was a big factor going yeah. through that. My mom was calling me, saying, "Stay hydrated, stay hydrated, bottles. drink the water." Exactly, and so I think that those were the main concerns. Pokemon Go players also popping up on the trail at random spots. Yeah, <laughs> hitting them. Exactly. Talking to the average voter along the way, what what did you what did you hear from them, Michael? I think that a lot of people are a little concerned about the two choices they have. There is a, a real rock and a hard place sensibility in a lot of that, that country, from the farmlands to the mm. city streets. And so they know it's a tough choice, and they're paying attention to these conventions. That was a great idea. We're glad you did it. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Thank great. you, guys. But nice finish. Get some rest. Get some rest. <laughs> Two more days to go here from Philly. We're going to be here. World News is here as well. Nightline, and of course, our special every night at 10 Eastern. Tonight, President Barack.